And what we're going to look to do, guys, is maintain the shape, but allow it to grow a lot more freer. So again, the work here, guys, and, and the, the key to a haircut like this is really knowing what to cut and what not to cut. Guys, we cut hair, we don't cut grass, yeah? So, what is the client going to pay you for? A really nice haircut or the amount of hair that you take off? Really nice haircut. A really nice haircut. Because he just wants a nice haircut. Now, whether you take off half an inch or two inches, that's irrelevant to him. It's relevant to me, but it's relevant to him. What it comes down to is the end result and how he feels at the end of it. So that's what we have to factor in to what we're about to do. Separate everything that is flat from what is round. Comb all that back. Not say, guys, I'm using the two fingers to palm all the hair out of the way, like so. corner and some assemblance of length towards the back here. And that's going to maintain the length towards the back and just allow that neckline to come straight on in for me. When I brush it on down you can see that we have softened it, and there it is, but we've maintained all that beautiful length there that we want to keep. Okay, and up from the front all the way into the back, there it is, little tap of the comb. One, two, three, four. How are you getting on? Going to hit the floor. Okay, I'm going to take section number one on out, match it with this, uh, the cut that we made in the previous section. Here we go. How's everyone feeling? Great. Oh, it's great. It's fantastic. It's only day one. Only been a couple of hours. You feel great? Yeah, I'm good at this, Glenn. <laughs> Guys, notice how little is coming off. Do we see that? Again. I'm going to bring my section right on out from the side and just connect that in. What I'm achieving, guys, is harmony between the top and the sides. Bring the section right on out there. Here we go. There's our difference in length. See it there? Connecting that right on in. When I brush that back, we can see that it's moved. I'm going to work from that side now to the opposite side of the back. There we are. Almost like a little scissor over comb technique. hair to go out quite naturally and quite soft. If I do a very strong outline over the year, how that will go out would be nearly a bit too aggressive in comparison to how the rest of it going out. So all I'm doing is just resting with the V of the scissor against the ear and just following that outline and very very softly guys just scissoring that in there. Now I'm just flipping number two. Nice and soft there. And I'm just scooping that into the way, just on the little temple area here, very, very softly. Nothing too extreme at all, guys. Uh, some of the different names for some of the guards, if you're unfamiliar with them, or as some people call the 1.5. Again, just scooping that right underneath the number two. Close it.
Yeah, cut the top. Guys, in all reality, you can see that if I hadn't stopped and started as many times as I did and stopped to explain so many things, I could have done that in half an hour, 45 minutes. No fuss, no problem.